Hi everyone, in this video we're going to attempt to factor this sum of cubes. Okay, so before we do the problem, there is a formula you should know for the sum of cubes. So the sum of cubes formula is a cubed plus b cubed. I'm going to show you how to memorize it, or I'll show you how I memorize it. So I know that you keep the sign, okay, and then I just know it, I guess, that it's a squared. Then you switch the sign, so keep, switch, and I always think it should be 2AB, but I know it's wrong, so I know it's AB. It's a terrible way to memorize it, plus B squared. Hey, but whatever works, right? Use whatever it takes to memorize it. So keep it, switch it, keep it, switch it. And the last one is always positive. If you, if you look at the difference, let me just show you the difference of cubes, just for comparison. This is A minus B, A squared, and then so you keep it, keep it, then you switch it, right? You switch it. And then it's always positive at the end. So now you can compare the formulas, right? So you see here there's a plus. So keep, keep, switch, keep, keep, switch. And that's the and these the last ones are always positive. Okay, so to do this problem, we have to um, rewrite this into a sum of cubes. So we can write 125 is 5 cubed, right? So you can do something like this. 125 is 5 cubed. Right? Do it on the side. So it's really going to be 5 cubed r cubed, right? That's what this is going to become. So you can write this as 5r cubed plus 1 cubed, right? So you can just make this leap. I just did this to show you that, you know, you can do it in steps, right? You can write it as 125r cubed and then write it as 5 cubed r cubed and then finally write it as 5r cubed, right? That's how you would get um, to this step. So now a here is going to be uh, 5r and b is 1, right? So you just replace all of your a's with 5r's. So it'll be 5r plus 1, right? Because a is 5r and b is 1. I'll write it up here. a is 5r and b is 1. So it'll be 5r plus 1, right? 5r plus 1. And then it's 5r squared. So when you square 5r, you're going to get 25r squared, right? Because you square the 5 and you square the r. So this is 25r squared, right? Because you square the 5, you square the r. Then it's minus, so minus, you can be really careful with these, AB. So AB is 5R times 1. So that's just 5R. That's just 5R. And then 1 squared, because B is 1, so plus 1. And that's it, right? That's all we're going to do. That's it. That is the final answer. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. I hope this video has helped someone out there who's trying to learn some mathematics. And remember, math is hard for everyone. When you're doing problems like this, just always go, um, you know, take your time and go slow. Take care.